had a lot of experience in my clinic with tildrakizumab in the long term. It was one of the first interleukin-23 inhibitors starting uh, their clinical trials back in 2013. So uh, patients who are in that clinical trial who are still on tildrakizumab today are now in their eighth year of treatment with tildrakizumab. And all of those patients who were in the clinical trial doing well on tildrakizumab are still on tildrakizumab today and I think that says a lot about a biologic. So when I think about the clinical trial data, a few things uh, that stand out to me, there is a, a good proportion of patients who are clear, almost clear, the majority of patients. But one of the um, things we've seen recently published is the long-term data. So five years, once a patient's clear, there's a good chance they're going to stay clear. Again, as mentioned, this, you know, my, my long-term experience has obviously been in the research trial setting. Uh, I've followed uh, many uh, patients, uh, subjects, over a, a seven to eight year period. Um, uh, the experience has been, I mean, for, for lack of a better word, great. So it just really speaks to the durability of the, of the molecules. Uh, um, uh, the clinical efficacy long term and the safety really again we've got a very robust uh, uh, safety data set for tildrakizumab based on the fact that we've got such long-term experience with it you know really the first published five-year uh, data for any IL-23 molecule um, uh, in, in, in the research setting so uh, again you know high sustained efficacy and an excellent safety profile euh, la plupart des gens ont été très satisfaits, on commence le traitement, puis au fil des mois, on voit qu'il y a une amélioration euh, qui se passe. Donc, euh, quand je les revois à trois ou six mois, euh, sont très satisfaits de l'efficacité. L'autre chose que je vois, c'est que je n'ai pas eu d'effet secondaire majeur au niveau d'infection sévère euh, avec Tildrakizumab. Puis, les patients qui ont répondu avec un PASI 90 ou un PASI 100 ont maintenu leur réponse euh, jusqu'à maintenant. Mmh.